Oi oi everyone, no respawns here. I hope you're having a grand weekend. So this is my Brotherhood of Steel compound. I've tried to make it fairly RP focused um, to moderate success, I think. Uh, the slight issue we have with any of these like Brotherhood or Enclave themed kind of camps is we just don't have the decoration tools available. Like I wanted this to look like Fort Atlas. It's not gonna look like Fort Atlas, but I'm fairly pleased with it. Also, you're getting a nighttime tour uh, purely because I gave up trying to get decent daytime weather. I, I server hopped about for about half an hour. I was like, okay, it's just fog or rain or nighttime. You're getting a nighttime tour. It does look fairly decent at nighttime, which is all right. Also, don't judge, right? Don't judge, don't hate. I'm, I'm a bit depressed about it. I don't actually have the Brotherhood of Steel Collectron. Uh, I didn't log in the week it was available and they haven't put it on since. So F's in chat, but also it mildly upsets me that I never picked that up. Anywho, let's give you saucy bunch of talk. Oh, where are we? We are just here, by the way, just on this wee road, opposite the sign. Uh, the reason why, and I'll go inside, but this incredibly flat land, you do not get attacked here. This is a safe spot within the Cranberry Bog, which is exceedingly exciting. You might hear bullets and kind of like gunshots from over there, which is a bit annoying at times. So you might want to run over there and kill things if you just want to hang around your base, but you will not get attacked here, which is, um, yeah, quite grand. So as you probably see, I've used the Wavy Willard's wall pieces. They're decent. The one big thing about these, Oh, there's also a stream here, so you can actually... I'm going to probably put another Purify, but you can actually squeeze Purifies here as well. Um, the one thing about these wall pieces, right? Uh, you can see I've gone up there. I've gone higher, yeah? Uh, so they give you a pillar and then three different kinds of wall. And also a doorway, which looks like the larger wall. But what they don't do is give you a wall without any pillars on it. And you may think, oh, well, who cares about that? The problem is, if you start attaching a pillar... <laughs> anything if you use the pillar once the singular pillar it screws up and to the point where you end up having to do this because you don't have like the way the logic of the wall snaps together you can't snap everything together correctly um which is hilarious to me it, it's like a complete oversight <laughs> in how they use i'm like true if you've got them play around with them you'll get what i mean but you can't yeah, you, you have to... Yeah, so it's a bit annoying. And also, even though this is very flat land, it still wasn't flat enough. I did have to kind of, you know, as you can see at the back here, I did have to jump the walls up so they're higher than on this side. Otherwise, they'd have looked, you know, stupidly low. And the problem is it, it doesn't it doesn't work. So they're quite nice walls. If you want something quite crisp, they're pretty cool. Also, this doorway is pretty neat, admittedly. Okay, thanks, guys. Cheers. Open, open tap. there we go. That's a pretty neat door, well, I do like that. Um, yeah, they're a bit fiddly to use, but I, I quite like them. So I do like my entrance. Incidentally, so this helmet, um, and I believe this is the one you unlock through the, uh, the daily ops. I had no idea I unlocked it until literally, like, decorating these mannequins. I was like, oh! When did I unlock that? God damn it, I've wanted that for ages, so laugh at me, please. Um, also, it looks very cool with the... Uh, I think it's the armoured range run to suit. Looks very cool. I was going to have them in full Brother to Steel armour, but I ran out of materials, so we, we, we get this instead. So I quite like this. Um, also, actually, just in a tidy, I hadn't used these pieces as well, and they're not bad at all. Uh, these, I believe, you unlock in this season. I can't remember what level we could check, but I'm too lazy to. Uh, it, it's in the middle somewhere, like the first third. I don't think they'd look very good on big structures at all, but for smaller little, just little bunkers, they work really, really well, like surprisingly well. Um, so I might try and use them a little bit more often. So my whole vibe with this is, yeah, I wanted a kind of like, you know, a Brotherhood of Steel themed compound. Now, I've done something like this before, but on a smaller scale. So obviously tempting as it was to replicate that, that would obviously not make for a good video. Um, and I'm fairly pleased how it turned out. This field station, it's still one of my favourite prefabs they've done. It's the perfect size to make a nice little cosy base. But at the same time, the door's amazing as well. Did I remember to put the door on? Did I put the door on? Apparently I didn't. I took the door off. There is a door and it's pretty cool. Let me show you the door. I'm worried I didn't take the door in. No, I took the door off. Fine. God damn it. Let me show you the door. The door's really cool. I, I must have taken the door off. 
It is it what? And it's not going in because I've got too much stuff. I think I do actually have the door. Oh, oh there, yeah, no, I'm doing wrong. You have to touch the button, I think. Ah ha ha! That's why. Because I've disabled the HUD. Um, the door's really cool. I really like it. It's it's my f one of my favourite prefabs if you want something that's not junky. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the only good Brotherhood of Steel themed prefab, um, which is quite grand. Here is my actual resource um, collector. It's the fact that this is copper as well is just glorious. It's so good. And copper ore itself, especially when you use the super duper, but you just get so much copper from it. It's unbelievable. So this is definitely going to be um, a permanent camp, which is quite nice. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with how this turned out. I'm probably, as you can see, I've started to make it a little bit more colourful. And as again, the, the slight issue with these Brotherhood Steel themed camps is that we really don't have enough decorations available to make it look busy and also completely RP. Like, if I wanted something that really did look like a Brotherhood of Steel camp and only use the tools I had available, that's the screenshot right there, I would have had the most barren looking camp ever. So it's, it's a bit of a... It, it's kind of give or take, but to be honest, I, I've just sort of head cannoned and the fact is that this is my character who has only recently become a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. So they keep their own personal style, but also, you know, have tried to make something militaristic. But I, I would like to be able to make something kind of fully RP. Uh, you can do it in Fallout 4 if you have the creation kit, because you can then just use all of the tools available. But for if you're using the base game or if you're building in Fallout 76, it ain't gonna happen, see? However, fairly please. So yeah, big shout on this location. Oof. I'm giving you full license to steal it. It's great. It's grand. Also, the Cranby Bog is great outside of when the weather shit or whether it is looking like it. No, it's still grey. Look at it. God damn it. Um, the Cranby Bog is really, really nice. It's good location. And also, this is a very safe spot with a resource fender and also flat ground. So highly recommend it. Anywho, I love you all. Um, I'm going to probably finish this off to be honest because i want to add look again i just want to add colorful decorations to it but the thing is those wouldn't have looked correct in a very themed tour <laughs> so i've got a fifth of my build limit that i'm just gonna go right let's make it colorful now N now that i've done the video it's fine uh, but anyway uh, i love you all uh, as always follow me on the twitters at no response i'm gonna stream um uh, maybe sunday if not monday uh because i got a bank holiday which should be grand apologies for the slightly erratic upload schedule i don't August has been a weird month for me, and I'm just getting back into the rhythm of things. Um, also with QuakeCon, that was quite a big pressured stream, which was fun. But um, yeah, a bit tense, that one. Uh, opened day two, which was a thing that, that I'm going to probably be very chuffed about for a while. But anyway, love you all. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you're based in the UK, enjoy your bank holiday. Otherwise, sorry about that. Don't get too jealous. And I'll speak to you later soon. You take care.